Hello everybody, Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Half-Life 2 with the update mod. We are going to be taking on a little bit of Hunter Chopper here, and... in a nice little arena. There are lots of goodies around here to collect. Do you have to remember that one. Oh, and let's get rid of this TNT now while we can. This is our TNT. Exploitable barrows. Because just but there will be plenty of explosives here later. Having more explosives in here just makes things worse. for your sirens, that's not the good news. a little bit of exploding right now. Where did you go? Right there. Bye bye. You dead now. you're thinking, but I guess we need to run through this. We are called Terminus. There is no distance between us. 
No false veils of time or space may intervene. We see you still in Black Mesa. Clearly we see you in the Nailance Chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nailance Dimple. You leap, you fall, we see you flash between the barriers. For a brief time you joined us, you are one between the worlds. Communion of the Vortessence and that other, a deeper mystery. No deeper than the void itself. We cannot forget those whose cords you cut. Forgiveness is not ours to bestow. Unity of purpose, the shattering of common shackles, a single road we tread. Your song we sing and shall sing for eternity, no matter the consequences of this battle. You have brought us grief and jubilation beyond measure. We are there still in observance of your final stroke. While our only scattered at your feet, you sievered the vortal cord that bound the nail into life and to us. That sharp spur of hope has not dulled to this day. For once the lesser master lay defeated, we knew the greater must also fall in time. With you besides us, a talisman of victory, the day of freedom draws nigh. Your bright face obscures your darker mask. We call you Sib, although your mind and meaning are a mystery to us. Far distant eyes look out through yours. Something secret steers us both. We shall not name it. We have endured these chafing bonds for eons, yet a single moment of further servitude seems intolerable. How often have we slipped our yoke only to find it choking us again? Let this war end in either total victory or our extinction. No further compromise shall we allow. We take our stand beside you here upon this miserable rock. The way ahead is dark for the moon. What seems to you a sacrifice is merely to us an oscillation. We do not fear the interval of darkness. We are a tapestry woven of vortessence. It is the same for you if only you would see it. How many are there in you? Whose hopes and dreams do you encompass? Could you but see the eyes inside your own, the minds in your mind, you would see how much we share. We are you, free men, and you are us. Our cause seems hopeless. Where to now? And to what end? We have lost all dear to us. Our finest poet describes it thus. We have survived worse across the ages. This is more than anyone can bear, but we will persevere. Our life is worthless unless spent on freedom. We shall prevail. Our life is worthless unless spent on freedom. And that's as far as he goes. So yes, we need to bring this stuff with Our us. Finest poet describes it. <laughs> oh, okay, that works, I suppose. I can see that. Yep, I can see that. Okay. We just made it out of there. I forgot how hard it was to make it in and out of there.
I guess the important part of the story. to drop a new health. Okay. <laughs> Don't remember, but I thought there was health somewhere up here. Maybe I'm wrong? here, but... wonder. Will it let me drink the boat? It will. and then this is supposed to give you the stuff to go over and see your report on the front, but I like doing stuff in the wrong order. Because I can. Glitchy water. There's that water down there, and there's that water there. Okay. we have a water surface there, and a water surface here. And the source engine apparently doesn't like that. And it is hidden pretty well, but... Still, unless you, yeah, unless you know what you're looking for there, pretty easy to disguise. Hi, birds. 
absorbed as well. But I must go. That didn't work. But I must go now. That still didn't work. You know what they say, third time's the charm, right? So, it's... No! Why are you doing this to me, game? Okay, I'm sucking at this today. But that's the last time we have to deal with this. Never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna break all your boxes for you first. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your train. Uh, there's no elevator here. We're closing here. in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen to Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space. Oh, without cool little scene is going on on our way down. Oh, here's a Eli now. Here's what we right, cool. Keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. Being the last time I saw you, years. I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat, where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. 
feel free to look around. Okay. Turn to ask you about every single thing in this room. And follow your different Oh, areas. Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. I don't trust you. Fine scientist, Judith. She was up for your job in Black Mesa, but you etched her out of your insult. I have a few things to attend to, Dr. Freeman. Let Eli show you around. Nope. I'm just gonna stay in here. Dr. Freeman. Spend some time with Eli. I'll be back as soon as I catch up on some work. I don't trust you. I'll break your keyboard. Okay. I'm not sure it's broken enough yet. I'll break that TV screen. Dr. Freeman, I figured you and Eli would want to talk about old times. We can talk later. Back in here in two seconds. Oh, Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. I have a few things to attend to, Dr. Freeman. Let Eli show you around. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, <laughs> I figured you and Eli would want to talk about old times. We can talk later. You go ahead, Dr. Freeman. Spend some time with Eli. I'll be back as soon as I catch up on some more. Talk about this thing. Oh, Gordon. Oh. The Gordon said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he there earned you are. it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the impossible exception oh. of you. Dad, please. Uh, she locked me out. Yeah, I know you're not up to good. Take a look at this, Gordon. Okay, I'll take a look at this. What does it do? Nothing? There's a chance for lots of little story stuff, but... Trader. Alex, I thought you were on watch. The Vortigaunts will leave me so I could come see Gordon. Maybe anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator manipulator is, is not a toy. toy. Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. Yeah. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down no, here. No, go ahead, talk behind her back all you want. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Mm. You sure about that? Come on. So I don't believe you. Oh, is this another one? Okay. That's what this room thing looks like. Okay. Oh, 
But yeah. So, here we are. The scrapyard. Yes, I see that. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. Really? I found it handy for clearing minefields. You grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Oh, I did that already. Boop. Boop. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Give it a try. Oh, hi. See That's if you can stack you some stuff to climb up here. Okay. All right. I did it already. I beat you to your goal. Okay. Dog. He loves the fish. Dog! Come! Hey. Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. <laughs> Have a nice boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Yeah. Go ahead, dog. Throw! Okay, I'm gonna try to make a basket over here. Good catch! Throw another, dog! under here. Just right to do it too. Alright, there you are. Oh, come on. Good throw. Aw. Nice catch. <laughs> Dog will throw it back to me though. Scatters! 
No, not yet. We have to do this first. You just land on. Hey, hey, crap. You're dead now. Funny thing is, you can stay out here as long as you want. Until you start being hit by the chopper. And if that happens. And I don't know why. But I don't know why it's landing like that. But hold the chopper. Come on, I can make this. Ah. No, no, no. I can make it. Come on. I can do this. Whoop. Nope. A little too high. Right about there. Nope, still a little too low. Let's go for the trap. I think. Whatever. I'm in here. Dad, Alex, do you read? Alex, are they... what's going on in there? Where are you, Alex? We're in the scrapyard airlock, stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Oh, hi. I'm stuck inside you, dog. Hurry, now! Tear it apart if you have to. Just get it open! That's enough, dog. Maybe for Come you. On, Come on! Oh, what? You need to get out of here. I can't leave my father. Dog, take Gordon to the Ravenholm Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! Uh... You don't listen very well, do you? about this. I don't. So it seems we're going into Raven Home. Yeah. Nice. Do not enter. Apparently an airlock that doesn't work or something. I don't know. I don't understand this entrance. Dead crab. One of you. Never broke. As you can tell, this series is a little flooded down here. 
apparently it's contaminated. Warning, keep out. Let's go. Because apparently this is where we're supposed to go. Because, you know, that keep out sign isn't, you know, telling us to stay out or anything. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Welcome to Ravenholm. to life. I, I like that quite a bit. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!